everyone. Um, Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Hain. I'm uh, presenting about uh, what we did wrote about the Nairobi uh, analysis. I'm with War Resources uh, Institute, WRI. We're based in uh, Washington, D.C. So, um, oops, uh, sorry. This paper was co-written with some of the colleagues that I met uh, at uh, State of the Map uh, in, in Richmond last year. Uh, so uh, the, the, the uh, let me put my timer right here. So, and, and, and then uh, collaborating with our colleagues from uh, Nairobi and uh, Ethiopia office. With the, um, so, and then the, uh, the paper was already presented at the, the uh, first uh, African Transport Research Conference in Cape Town uh, earlier this mo uh, month, and you can try to find some of the co-authors there. I wasn't there. Um, a little bit of a background about Nairobi uh, mode shares. So, so this is one of the studies. Uh, the, uh, the studies could be difficult to conduct. Uh, so about 39% people in Nairobi uh, could you, uh, go uh, by foot, and then about 46% by public transport, uh, which we call Matatu, which is what you see in the pictures, uh, and then or maybe ride hailings or Boda Boda, which are motorcycles, uh, taxi or motorcycle. Uh, um, they also have buses. Uh, some try to electrify uh, in by company called Basel uh, Go. So uh, about 13 percent used by the private vehicle. Uh, and so in, in practice, uh, most trips are multi motors and a good chunk of that involve uh, some sort of form of wa walkings. Uh, we are interested in uh, how roads are built and uh, built, but sometimes the, the uh, transport agency might be building roads for the sake of moving cars and not necessarily people. So we try to see what the accessibility uh, based on that um, and uh, try to do analysis around access to a specific locations, specific, uh, in this case, uh, uh, schools. Um, uh, about 58% take a, uh, of children in primary school uh, uh, take a car or bus to go to school and 42% by foot. And then there are stories from BBCs and other studies that say they have to get up early to get to the school. Uh, so what's interesting here uh, is we want to analyze the trend, uh, trend, trend, uh, traffic congestions during the school terms and then when they're on vacations. Um, try to see uh, the imp impact of uh, sc school commute uh, uh, to the citywide congestions and then the uh, larger equity impact. Uh, so that's Nairobi. Uh, the step involves uh, we have a pr uh, uh, we started with the the uh, pre uh, preliminary dis uh, descriptive analysis and then we do uh, 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 analyze the differences in s uh, s speed based on different road typologies available in ah, OpenStreetMap. <laughs> uh, and the other studies. So the, the data set was o o OSM and Uber uh, Movement. U at that time, Uber Movement has given, uh, uh, like, a, the, there was a free data set, uh, including the speed that now it's gone, uh, taken down. I don't know. So uh, the speed is important because that gives us ability to uh, analyze the uh, how uh, w how much the, the, the cities is moving or not. So uh, these are, uh, like, the, uh, we couldn't use the OSM, uh, like, a school data because the, the, the quality wasn't good enough uh, to, uh, there were the issues, and the, we look at uh, uh, a bit of uh, the mapping uh, uh, histories of, of what's available in Nairobi, and then we ended up using more of a World Bank data in this. Um, these are some pre preliminary studies, and we ended up focusing more on uh, the morning rush hours. Um, uh, so, so some some wards are more uh, congested than others. So the one that I've highlighted here, I think you would need a little bit of more local knowledge with the help of one of our co co authors would identify which are more crowded during the school term as opposed to um, uh, the, the holiday seasons. Um, and then the, if you look at by uh, sunrise, the green means we will try to use different color, but green means it could take longer during the uh, school terms as opposed to uh, uh, the. the, the yeah, yeah, and then we also did a little bit of a statistical stat, uh, analysis to see whether the difference uh, are statistically significant. Uh, the, we ran into a big data issues of uh, and also the independent assumptions because they are all auto correlated in terms of time and space uh, because we were looking at the data across one year. Uh, so you have to do a little bit of modeling to see uh, to overcome that, and then uh, even with uh, 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 holding this. 
uh, correlation issue, we find there's a statistically uh, significant difference. So th these are our conclusions. Aha, uh -huh. I'm, I'm almost done. <laughs> there, thank you. <laughs>